All right, guys, guys, YouTubers and whatnot. I got this uh Kawasaki Z900, and uh, figure get a more comfortable bike to sit on. But in reality, the seat isn't too too comfortable. But you do sit upright. I might change the seat. I don't know. But. But uh, four cylinder. It's pretty fast, up to like 120. After that, it's, it's like there's a lot of wind, man. Cause it's like it's just like it's nothing blocking you really. It's not as fast as I thought it was gonna be. Or like uh, second gear, a clutch up. I mean, you could probably power wheelie a second gear. But first gear goes up to like 40. Or no, 55, I think. Second gear goes up to like 75 or something like that. And I think it, it has a top speed of like 158, I think. But I was getting it on the interstate. It's doing like 140. These little mirrors. I had to tighten them up right here. Pull that up. Tighten it up. But uh, this mirror like spun and slapped my ass. Slap me in the helmet, so I didn't really get to go top speed. But uh, I don't know. I'm not used to it, I guess. But I guess I'll keep it for now. Pretty much what I can afford right now. I got rid of my ZX10. I haven't made a video in a while. But uh. I mean, it's something to ride for now. It's good around the city and stuff. I might have to go down one couple of teeth in the back sprocket or something, man. I got like a short wheelbase on this thing. And then, it, uh, I mean, it looks cool, but the first gear just really is like crazy. Like, if you're new to riding and you try to take off in first, like, you might accidentally whiskey throttle this thing. They're like them guys on them dirt bikes getting on for the first time. I usually take off just in second. Second has enough. So it's like I wouldn't mind going down and sprocket or something. Putting a little bit more top in and stuff. I don't know if it has. should have the power. It has, it's 900. I think it has 948cc or whatever. Let me start this thing. I just got done driving it. Dirty. And the camera is blinking a lot. But it's not blinking on real life and it doesn't have like a b mode or you don't even have a light switch it just has like the brights and uh emergency blinkers the signals the horn pretty much all the buttons that have well, I, I guess that's a button It has a fuel, fuel gauge. I just filled it up. That's cool. I only have 106 miles, so I just bought it. And when this thing goes up to like 10 or whatever, it'll start, it'll start blinking and shit. It goes up pretty fast, so. Other than that, I mean, it's a cool bike, but. It's not no 1000. It's not no ZX10. I mean, I'm not a super sport. I think it's called like a hyper naked or super naked or something. <sighs> First gear goes up to like 55, which is slow. Power wheel is good in first. Second, I clutch up a little bit. I just wish I had a little bit longer gears. I think it has anti lock brakes in the front. I don't know about the back. I guess it does in the back, but the back seems like it's locking up a lot. I don't know. Probably not as good. It's a 2019. I got it for like 77. So I pay like 130 bucks a month. I put like two grand down. But, man. 
need a better place to park this thing. It's just, it's just slow to me on the top end. Like after you go 100, it's like it kind of slows down a bit to me. It doesn't feel like it's pulling as hard and all that wind's in my face. I don't know if I could put a windscreen or something on here. I don't know. I'm going to have to get another 1,000 soon, though. Because this is just... It's fun to ride. I don't ride as much as I used to and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm going to just ride it to work, really. I'm going to try to take off all of this. You know, what I'm, you know what you do with this, right? You, uh... You get a cabinet hinge from Lowe's, like, five bucks. Not even... Screw it on there and it flips up and down. You put the screw your license plate to that thing. I think you just put these somewhere right here if you have to. Screw those in somewhere. Or I usually get some LED strips and I strip them up right there just to have signals. Alright, y'all. Thanks for watching. I mean, this bike's pretty cool. But if you're coming from like a Super Sport 1000, like an R1 or a ZX10 or Jixxon 1000. BMW S1000 double R or anything like that this is gonna feel a lot slower and the gears go fast I feel like you go too fast all right later y'all try to make some more videos later hopefully I can make a hopefully I can get another 1000 sooner or later all right peace out